everybody, Nando Siriani here. I wanna welcome you all back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is actually probably one of my favorite fashion videos ever because you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram and TikTok, you guys see that I love sneakers, whether it's a boot, whether it's a running shoe, whether it's a dress shoe, whether it's just a casual shoe. I absolutely am obsessed with sneakers and I have a bunch of them. And that's why today's video, I actually wanna share with you guys how important it is to actually just have essential shoes in your wardrobe so that you guys don't need to stress out about, you know, if you're going out to a formal event, going out to a casual event, and you're just going to the grocery store, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need in your closet in order to go to all these different events, so stay tuned. All right guys, so coming in at number one is the all white leather sneaker. Now, if you guys follow me on Instagram and TikTok, you guys actually will see probably one out of every four photos or videos I post, I always have a white leather sneaker incorporated in my outfits. And why is that? Well, the white leather sneaker is so versatile. You can actually just wear this casually if you're going to the grocery store with a pair of track pants and a white hoodie. And you can wear this as far as if you need it for more of a formal event, such as a suit, and you want to kind of calm that suit down with a light white leather sneaker. Now, I do suggest that you don't get any patterning on the white sneaker, as that is very important so you guys can wear this for a long time. Now, this is not a trench shoe, right? So there's all these trendy shoes nowadays, and I feel like this all white sneaker will be in in 10 years if you keep it in good condition. So it is a very versatile shoe, and this is a must for me in a men's wardrobe. So if you don't have this yet, you need to go buy yourself a white sneaker. Now, it doesn't matter where it's from. White sneakers nowadays, guys, can range from like 60 bucks all the way up to like 1500. So it is whatever you can afford and whatever is your budget, it gets the job done. This one is from Zara. I will link this one in the description below so you guys can go check it out if it's something that interests you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'm gonna show you guys the next shoe that I'm gonna be talking about. All right guys, so we got the second shoe here which is the Chelsea boot. Now, when would you wear this Chelsea boot and why would you wear it? Now, I would only wear this Chelsea boot probably if I'm going to like an early pub dinner or a late night dinner. Now, the suede, I recommend not really wearing it in the winter time because you can ruin the suede and the salt and the snow, but I'm stupid and I love just to wear them, so I just wear them all year round. But usually you wear a suede Chelsea boot more in the spring, summer, and fall. Now, to wear this piece, you probably have to wear it with pants only. Like, I, I can't see myself wearing it with a pair of shorts. Let's be honest here, no one's gonna wear Chelsea boots with shorts. Now, if you don't really like the look of a Chelsea boot, but you kinda just, need something a little bit more formal, you can always just put the jean right over so you don't really see how high the boot is. Now you can wear this jean, this uh, Chelsea boot with like a blue jean, black jean, gray jean. It, it's so versatile, guys. You can literally wear a Chelsea boot with anything. If you have a cool leather jacket, you have a long uh, wool coat, you know, you have um, a uh, plaid shirt on, this is definitely the, 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 the shoe you need to have in your wardrobe. I have a pair of um, tan boots like this and I also have a pair of black suede boots. And guys, I literally wear them all the time. I only have two pairs and they're so nice just to put different combos with outfits together. So that's why I have to say that this is number two on the list. And you can even just wear this with a suit as well. It looks super sleek with like a suit pant over. I mean, I wouldn't wear a suede boot with the suit. I would have to wear a leather boot so you can kind of have that shine at the bottom and a more formal look. But guys, if you don't have a Chelsea boot, you have to get yourself a Chelsea boot in order to be up to date in the men's wardrobe. And again, it's all about your budget and how much you can actually afford. It doesn't really matter. This gets the job done. There's Chelsea boots, again, from like $70 all the way up to $1,500. It's crazy. But guys, at the end of the day, this just gets the job done. These are from Oro Los Angeles. I will link the description in below if you guys want to check them out. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this one and I hope I explained it well for you guys. And I'll see you guys at the third shoot. All right guys, coming in at number three, we have the all black combat boot. Now, why is this so important to have in your wardrobe? I'm gonna explain to you a couple reasons why I think that it is really important. I find for myself, if I wanna go for more of that biker look with the leather jacket, or a um, you know long coat, or just a heavy duty winter coat, I feel like you just need to have this combat boot, and it's gotta be nice and high, it can't be low. I like when the combat boot is actually nice and high, and you can tuck your jean in to it, and it just shows off the boot. Now, I suggest if you don't have one yet, 
get yourself a triple black pair. Don't go getting any colors just yet. You know, if you're gonna get a color, I suggest maybe getting like a chocolate brown, um, you know, if you wanna be a little bit more different. But I think this is such an important piece to have in your wardrobe because you're just gonna wear it, even with like a cargo pant, you can wear this with like a tight jean, kind of like a looser jean. This is such a versatile piece to have and I honestly wear these a lot and I only have one pair. You only need one pair, guys. And again, whatever your budget is, it doesn't really matter um, what kind of boot it is because it gets the job done. Now these boots can range, again, from like $100 all the way up to 1000 I know it's crazy nowadays how much these shoes are, but at the end of the day, all that matters is the look. Now, you wanna make sure even, too, I'll give you guys another pointer, is that you guys can also even get a boot that has a zipper. That looks really cool, and it is a little bit more trendy nowadays to have the zipper on the middle part of the boot. But guys, like this is probably one of my favorite boots I've had, and I've had this for years. It's John Bottles. I'm not even sure if they have this. I think I got this on sale for like 150 bucks uh, when I was in Florida one time. But um, I'll try and find a boot similar to this and I'll link it in the description below and you guys can check it out for yourselves. But if you don't have this boot guys, you need to get yourself all black combat boot. So important to have in the wardrobe. So I'll move on to the fourth shoe. Right, guys, so you knew I was gonna get into this and this is a formal dress shoe. Now, if you don't have a dress shoe yet and you know, you're looking for one, I suggest just getting an all black dress shoe. Now, this one here just has laces. You can get ones that kind of have that strap that comes over. That looks really sleek as well. Now, you can wear this dress shoe also. It's very versatile. You can wear it more formally, like if you know, you're going to an event or a wedding. We can also just wear these with like a pair of jeans too and like a, with a dress shirt on more casually. So it is also a very important piece to have in your wardrobe. If you're looking more to get a color and you don't want to stick to black, I suggest again, same as a combat boot, getting a chocolate brown because it's going to be so versatile with all the different colors. You know, you can you can ma match this with blue jeans, uh, gray jeans, green jeans. This can wear this so versatile all the time and it's such an all year round piece to have. Now, if you guys don't have a triple black um, dress shoe, I'm gonna leave one in the description below so you guys can check it out. And um, again, these dress shoes can vary between $100 all the way up to 1500 it doesn't matter where it's from it's whatever you guys can afford and whatever your budget is so this to me is um, like one of my favorite shoes probably I've had this for years and it's Steve Madden it's it's super comfortable and super durable so you know and it's not crazy expensive either and um, I just love this shoe and I do wear it a lot now I'm gonna move on to the fifth shoe which is okay boom now, the fifth shoe is gonna be your trendy shoe. Now, this shoe, guys, it's gotta speak about you. It's gotta bring out your personality. It's gotta be different. This is the shoe that you bust out like every one or two times a month, and people are like, wow, like, Nando, where'd you get that shoe? You know, that just, like, that just such a loud shoe. It just really, I don't know if I just said loud right now, but it just speaks about your personality so much. That shoe's gotta really, you know, Kind of stand out right so that's why i kind of want to show you guys this easy 350 and again it doesn't matter what shoe it is or how much it is it just has to be versatile and it just has to be you it's going to connect to you people gotta see that shoe that oh wow that was the shoe nando was wearing last time like that's such a sick shoe so this is when you know you wear this with like a streetwear look you know you're going to the mall and you want people just to really look at your shoes now, you need to have this in your wardrobe. It's good to have in your wardrobe because it's that trendy piece that's gonna kind of, you know, fade maybe and then come back into style. So you need to have it and it's a must. So guys, I'll try and find some trendy shoes that I can find online and I'll try and link a couple in the description because it is hard to find trendy shoes nowadays because they are so expensive. And um, I'm gonna find a couple that are more on budget for everyone. And um, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video regarding my top five shoes that a man needs to have in his wardrobe today. Now guys, do me a favor. If you like this video, smash that like button for me as it helps out my channel. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And guys, turn on those notification bells because I'm posting new content regarding fitness, fashion and lifestyle every single week guys and i don't want you guys to miss out because i'm super excited for what's to come next on this youtube channel now guys thank you again for watching and i'll see you guys next time